This is an Akiva backup and replication login screen. So let's log into the product. This is our main dashboard. Here we don't have any jobs yet. So the first thing to do is to go to the configuration tab. Here we can go to the inventory and add a new Hyper-V host. So let's type in a display name that will be shown in the Nakiva Backup and Replication interface. Then the actual host name or IP for the host. Uh, type in a username and the password. And all that's left to do is to click Add. Now the host was added. Uh, we can see that 54 VMs are on the host and we can expand this one and see the list of VMs here. So now that we have Hyper-V VMs in the product, we can actually go and create some new jobs. So let's go to the jobs tab. So now let's create a Hyper-V backup job. On the first step of the visor, we can see the list of VMs that are available in the inventory. And here we can select any number of VMs that we want to add to our job on the left hand side. And they will be shown on the right hand side. Here we can also conveniently remove the VMs that we don't want to have on our backup job. We can also use search and let's say we want to back up only Windows VMs. So we can type Windows here and select the only running VM and go to the next step. On this step, we can select where we want to backup our Hyper-V VM. And here we have a few backup repositories and let's choose this one. We can also go to advanced options, click on the VM and see all of the disks that are available inside the VM and we can deselect the disks that we don't want to backup but let's just backup all of the disks of the VM and go to the next step. Here we can set up a schedule as to when the backup shall occur. We can run the job daily starting at a particular time and then we can also set a backup window so that the job should should be stopped by this time. We can also choose the time zone as well as the days on which the job should run. We can also change the schedule to be monthly and let's say run the job on every third Monday of every month. Or we can run the job periodically as often as every five minutes. Or we can choose not to have any schedule and only trigger the job manually. Let's go with this one and go to the next step. Here we can set up how many recovery points we want to have and for how long we want to keep them. So we can choose to have 100 recovery points and go to the next step. On the last step we can specify a name for our backup job and we can choose to have an application aware mode. Let's enable this one and let's choose the option fail on error. This means that if application awareness fails then the entire job will fail. So here we need to choose the VMs for which application aware backup will be made and credentials that will be used to connect this VM. By default, uh, the CBT driver will be used to track changes on, this, on all of the VMs and we will leave the network acceleration and encryption disabled. That's it, let's hit finish. And our job is created, we can see its dashboard with the job information, its settings, the machines that we have in the jobs, where they will be backed up and some charts are not available yet because the job has not been run. Let's run the job.
and use a bit of video editing magic to speed things up a little bit. As you can see, the backup job has finished successfully and our backup speed was 124 megabytes per second. Because the servers are connected via 1 gigabit link, this means that we used all available bandwidth for our backup.